Hi guys, Woody Butter Gamer. <laughs> Woody Butter. Ugh. So I watch uh, Peanut Butter Gamer sometimes, not all the time. But every month in November he does Zelda month, and I actually did. It popped up in my subscriber feed. Uh, he did worst Zelda games ever, I think, recently. Don't know why I'm talking this high. Where he watched one of his really old videos where he did the worst Zelda games ever. And it was kind of a train wreck and I couldn't disagree more. But I love the video because I love his content. And it had me thinking the whole time. I've always wanted to do something for his Zelda month. I love Zelda. I think a lot of people kind of see me as the Zeldies guy. But I did do something similar once. Top 5 best Zelda games ever. It was kind of a throwaway video I did two years ago when I was staying at my friend's house. I had no other idea, no content, no video idea, and I was like, oh, just I'll do a top five because they're really easy to throw together. But I remember it being very cringe. I had no plan for it, and watching him cringe at his old video, while mine isn't as old as his was, it just got me thinking, you know what? I want to join Zelda month for once. I did not think this video was going to do well at all, by the way. I thought this video sucked. And right away, it didn't get many views. But it somehow creeped up to... Uh, too many? <laughs> too many views. But people seem to like it, so... Video is almost more for me than anyone else because I get asked so often what my favorite Zelda game is or what my top five favorite Zelda games are. And I always bounce between a bunch. And I, I just, I sat down and I was like, I need to figure it out. I need to know what my favorite Zelda- You know what's weird actually watching this? I was really chill back then and just kind of casual in my videos and it was like the year after this I got really hyped and started screaming in all of my videos and my personality got really weird and now I feel like I've fallen back into the chill and so I think I watched this like a year ago and I was like WHY AM I SO QUIET?! <laughs> And I hated it. Now I'm like, oh, at least I wasn't yelling. Okay, but I, I feel like I've done a pretty good job at coming up with my top five. I'm going to actually do a top six Zelda games that I love. Oh, it's top it's, six. I, I love Zelda. I clearly love everything Zelda. Oh, clearly. Clearly I love Zelda. I was staying, as I said, at my friend's house, and I knew I wanted to make this video, so I specifically set that top up to be Zelda. Clearly I love Zelda. I, I hate how obnoxious that sound is. <laughs> So if you guys have your own version of this list, let me know okay, down below. Okay, get to the point. But Zelda, I love Zelda. I, I, I clearly I love Zelda. I oh, he like said it again! <laughs> he? Wait, it's me. Clearly, clearly I love Zelda. Look behind me again. This is my proof. Oh my god. So I have a ton of stuff here. Oh, point to it some more. Show off some more. Just get to the video. The camera. A ton of stuff in Australia. It really never ends. I have Zelda stuff coming out of my ass, it feels like. <laughs> Say that word. Zeldies and Back to the Futures are my two favorite. Back to the Futures? I did not say Back to the Futures. Why can't I watch this video for more than three seconds without pausing it? Franchises of all time. I have Back to the Future little setup behind the camera oh, that you can't. Clearly, I love Back to the Future. <laughs> love for Zelda goes back to my early days. It's helped me through my depression. It helped me through my childhood. Uh, all right. And it helps me now, even just finding story. fun games to play. Or just when I'm feeling down and I, I need to play something to make me feel better. I that is true, though. That is true. I, I, for me, watching this, I'm like, wow, way to bum the audience out immediately. But it is true. Um, I have struggled with depression my whole life. And uh, Zelda has always made me, like, honestly feel better. I think it just takes me back to a more innocent, nostalgic time. It's just something about it that's so... Zelda, honestly, is one of the very few things in life that I can just watch and feel... Or play and feel soothed by it, which is why I love it so much. You put in a Zelda game and it will cheer me up. I have a whole story of, of my history with Zelda on my channel, I which do? I'll leave at the end of this video and a link in the description. I forgot about that video. I don't know what I said if in you that. you want to dive into why I love Zelda so much. But for now, this is just a more relaxed, a more chilled out video because I just filmed two really intense... Okay, we don't care. ...energy octane. Clearly I love Zelda. Here's my Mega Man mug. <laughs> Something that's more just for me and you guys, the fans of the show. My personal top five! Come on, as if there wasn't a zoom in on my face when I said that. If that was me editing now, top five! <laughs> Zelda games of all time and the reasons why I love them so much. But without further ado... Yeah, well, please, without further ado, as he takes a long sip from his drink. Let's get started. Number six on this list is Twilight Princess. Okay. Now, I adore... I probably still very much agree with this video. Like, nothing has changed. Like, I think I made this video after Breath of the Wild came out. In fact, I know that I did. Since then, we, all we've got is Link's Awakening, and that... <laughs> I mean, I love it, but stiff competition is what I said. In fact, I don't know what I've done here, but I'm gonna guess... 
Breath of the Wild, Ocarina, Wind Waker, Link between worlds Majora's Mask that's pretty much going to be what I feel now except Ocarina has pushed its way back up the top again <laughs> and Breath of the Wild under it I picked this game up and started playing this game right as I would call myself a hardcore Zelda fan because I had played through Ocarina when I was younger I played through Majora's Mask and now I, I sort of become an adolescent I was moving I don't know why that cr made me cringe it did I don't know why because it's true it, right as I fell in love with Zelda right as I was like okay these games are legit Twilight came out and it was like just perfect timing. <laughs> Growing up, I was maybe like 15, 16 and I, I had my GameCube which I had bought for myself and I just bought myself Wind Waker with my with my pocket money. And I was really, I loved it so much. And it was at that point that I that I was buying my own games. I was invested in my own games. And You know, this is something that frustrates me about a lot of my old videos and when I used to review things. My reviews always ended up being my nostalgia trips. And I very little actually talked about the freaking game because I didn't really know how to review things back then. It. But I love Twilight Princess, but it felt like a more adult, more grown up a version of Ocarina of Time. I know a lot of people put that as their number one or their number two so I know it's low on this list but that's where I'm putting it <laughs> <laughs> okay that was pretty funny Link Between Worlds is incredible it is one okay, of the so best games I've ever Worlds. played and it feels weird putting it at number five but it actually was almost oh I might four, actually have hit the nail on the head here that's pretty good I would say that if I if it hasn't changed in two years and that is my official order I always hate putting an official order on it but I mean one always talks about it and it's so many people's favorite game I know Billy who's cleaning out there right now it's his favorite game oh but I, I would I just didn't I never realized how great Super Nintendo games could be and were I want to put these two together because they were very similar experiences for me around the same time of my life I prefer Link Between Worlds I mean I played that one first and it's what I it made me go on and play Link to the Past it, it feels so weird putting a game like that at number five but I mean I gotta I gotta you know when you start to actually vibe with this video it is pretty chill like I am just talking about my experiences with the game Games. Number four is Majora's Mask. Uh, this game, th this I game is My is. My list hasn't changed. That's solid. <sighs> See, it's so weird for me to put it at number four. I really had to sit down. I really had to break down what I love about these games. I, I wanted to just have something <laughs> definitive that I, at least at one point in my life, decided on. This game was hard. I struggled when I was a kid to beat this game. I'm surprised I even did. I remember trying for a long, long time because I rented this game initially and I was trying to finish it through renting it. And that was just seriously a bit. <laughs> ah, swore. I feel like this game is better than Ocarina because of how complex and deep and rich and dark it is. Gosh, could I have found more horrible footage for that? I don't know who I stole that from, but it looks terrible. That game was just, it's its, its own enemy, but in the best way. If you sit down and finish it in one sitting, or not one sitting. The game is its own enemy, but in the best way. That almost sounds like I had discovered something profound about the game, but even now, myself, the person who said that, I have no idea what that means. This game, what's its own enemy, but in the best, Way. <laughs> Completely different compared to Ocarina, but it was playing that that same link, that same world, just all messed up. I love all the theories and I don't know that game, man. That was definitely enjoyable. But yeah, number four, love the game. Once again, uh, man, I really droned on pretty much saying the same thing for five minutes. Then it's dark and you do things a lot. This game's <laughs> its own enemy. <laughs> Get that as a One shit. day you asked me what my favorite Zelda game is, I could have said Wind Waker because Wind Waker, Wind Waker had that same thing for me that Ocarina did. Here's, here's the thing that Peanut Butter Gamer said too. Like Peanut Butter made a point of saying that every Zelda game is so different. Like it's almost different genres within the same genre. Like I feel like almost anyone could pick up almost any Zelda game and connect with it and appreciate it and love it. If you just love the franchise as a whole, everyone is gonna have different favorites, which I think is what is so special about Zelda. Yeah, when I, when I first played Ocarina at a time, it was like I was going on this brand new adventure for the first time ever. I, well, that's because I was, it's a brand new video game. And I started Ocarina at a time, and it was just, it was a whole new world, and I was completely- Yeah, it literally was a whole new world. A whole new world! That made, that game made me a gamer, and I never thought, now I mean, yeah. 
Waker didn't make me a gamer. I would say Ocarina made me a gamer. I was already heavily invested at that point. I'd already bought a 64 with my own money and then saved up and bought a GameCube with my own money. You don't do that unless you're a little gamer kid. And even then, Wind Waker wasn't the first or even like the first 10 games I got for the system, so. Fleeting. Getting, a, picking up a game for the first time and feeling like something is just brand freaking new and having that adventure, that feeling of adventure. I mean, there's games that come closer, games that try, but it's even like, game like Horizon, which is a brand amazing game, brand new game, brand new world, machines, nothing like I've really ever played before in terms of concept. <laughs> yeah, but it, brand new game, brand new world, machines. <laughs> what I'm saying though, I do agree with still, it is really hard. Uh, there's been a couple games recently that have actually given me like a brand new experience. God of War was pretty close. In some ways, Death Stranding managed to do that, where it was like a whole new thing I hadn't experienced before in a video game. It's like every game I put in my 64 back in the day was like a brand new thing. No matter what it was, it was like, whoa. I think there's a statute limitation on spoilers, but when you kill Ganon in that game and you stab that sword in oh! his head, that was so unexpectedly oh, spoilers! Badass. He turns to stone. Gosh! One of the coolest video game endings for me. Especially growing up, I was like, damn, Link, <laughs> that was that was brutal. But yeah, not that game was, <laughs> What are my uh, Link's cheers That score? game is amazing. That is probably my favorite moment in any Zelda game ever. Like, right when he shoved that sword in and Ganon turned to stone. Like, Link has never defeated Ganon in a more brutal way. The Breath of the Wild moment where Link comes to Zelda's aid. You know what I'm talking about if you played it. That was close. That was a close moment of like, damn. But that, that Ganon moment, that was still... Because picking number ones, oh God, see, it's just, it's really difficult. Coming in at number two is Breath of the Wild. And I don't know how that's gonna go down. Oh, with, I with did put Breath of the Wild too. But that Breath of the Wild was, huh. is incredible. So it's I'm still on amazing. the same page. Um, as I said, it's so hard to get that feeling of a brand new adventure these days. And I don't know if it was because I was playing Zelda because there's nothing really inherently too different about the game to other RPGs or other role-playing games that are out there. I mean, it's obviously like way watered down compared to games like Witcher 3. And as far as the scope of the world or even what you can do, the things you can do, I mean, not just comparing it to Witcher 3, but like any RPG, any good RPG that's out there, Skyrim, for example. But it was just give me, I feel like right then I was trying really hard to avoid saying Skyrim just to make that comparison. And I kept saying any RPG, you know, any, any, it could be any RPG, it could be uh, Witcher or any, any, any other good RPG out there. Any, uh, like Skyrim. <laughs> Part of the experience is you're playing the next Zelda game. They've worked hard to build a quality franchise over the years, so it does play a part into how much you enjoy the game, especially if you're a fan. So playing that game gave me that gave me that same feeling of a brand new adventure because I was playing Zelda, but I wasn't playing Zelda. It was so out so there. So I, I still agree with that a lot. Like Zelda Breath of the Wild, it didn't really do all that much that other games hadn't done. I will say I didn't mention things like its weird physics mechanics and stuff like that. There is a lot of things that Breath of the Wild did do that was innovative. But yeah, for the most part, it, it wasn't that different. It wasn't really that groundbreaking. It was just groundbreaking for Zelda. So I had a really long roundabout way of saying it in this video, but I still agree with that. The, honestly, the only thing that's stopping this game from hitting number one is there was this one thing lacking and that was story. The story just, it, it, it was almost there. It was, it was a really amazing, huge, elaborate story. And we got these like little, little tiny 18 chapters or whatever it was of the story. And it really wasn't enough to satisfy me. I was. Wood was not satisfying. <laughs> it felt a little empty at times, which is another thing that re is really holding it back. But in the grand scheme of things, it's an incredible game that I fell absolutely in love with immediately. I had a smile on my face I playing really... it for the entire play. I really want to replay this game. Like, I have had cravings to replay this game for like a year now. There just isn't time. I don't feel like I finished that game. Like, I mean, I did and I finished all the DLC, but I wasn't done with that game. One day I will play through that again. And I might actually record or stream it too, but I, I really want to. But looking back on it reflectively as, 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 as an experience, I don't think anything is ever going to be able to top my actual number one. And at this point, Wonder it's seriously it no surprise what it is, but let's, let's dive right into number one, which is... 
Why do I look bored? Like, let's just dive right into number one. Ocarina of Time, I've talked about in length in that last video about Zeldies. I also even mentioned it in this one about going on that big adventure, which was really a big part of it. The fact that that was like, when I first started realizing that I, there was, that I had depression or that I was down, that game really gave me an out. Here he goes again. Oh, I don't know. I'm a sad boy. <laughs> the time, which was another thing that really helped boost that up to the top spot for me, just personally. But even, even Imagine if this was someone else and I was making fun of that. That would be terrible. <laughs> all my personal experiences out of it for its time. It is amazing. It's an amazing game now. You pick it up on 3DS and play through it now. I, I, I dare you not to. They need it. Nintendo, Nintendo, please, please. I will lose my freaking mind if you remake this game on Switch. If you gave it the Link's Awakening treatment, but obviously don't make it look like Link's Awakening, just make it look like a brand new. I would, I would, I would pay $100 for that. Don't tell Nintendo, because I'd rather pay 60, but I would pay 100. I would burn my other Switch games. I wouldn't even need them. But for its time, it was just something really, really special. It was just something that no one, <laughs> I had definitely never seen before. That feeling of going on an- Couldn't cut that out, Wood? Couldn't cut out your little lip smack there? <laughs> Having a Switch between Adult Link. You know, like, I, as a kid, I hadn't played a game that long before. I spent hey, buddy. hours, like 20 hours or whatever yeah. it was, probably longer because I was a stupid kid. And then when I finally did, when I finally thought the game was going to be over, it turns out, nope, you're only halfway through. You pull that Come thing on. out and you become Adult Link. Hey. And you can you can do things and you have to, like, mix with the time travel. Oh, you can do things? The game and that, that was just for, for... I'm getting so, like, oh, you just... It do so many things and but what I'm saying is something I always loved about that game and that and I always talk about this how it was the first game I played that was like never ending man I was used to my NES games finishing in an hour or two and then this game took me freaking like weeks weeks to get to the point and figure out how to pull that sword from the stone ah oh, I was so excited like I was ready for the game to be done when I was a kid I was like I'm ready to go to school and tell everyone that I beat it kind of thing but to find out I was only halfway through and now I was an adult version of Link that could do like different things. You can do things. I wish I could go back in time and watch my face the moment I'm playing the game and I realize that I'm halfway through because I bet my face was like, do things. Loved it so much, and I mean, as as you can see, I it, it as you can see by all this other stuff, it comes full circle, baby. <laughs> I am a video gamer because of that game, and I don't think anything can dethrone that from a personal aspect. And I mean. Your favorite game, whatever your favorite game is, it's from a personal aspect. I doubt anyone out there, I mean, maybe someone, maybe some of you have favorite games because you just, you've dot pointed it out and you've done math calculations and you believe that's the <laughs> best game of all time and that's <laughs> why you done, like- Who's done that, Woodison? Who do you think is out there that has drawn up a pros and cons list of their favorite games and dot pointed out to figure out what is, in their opinion, the-, the... <laughs> But I think when it comes down to it, most people like their favorite game of all time because of personal reasons. Whether oh, you think what? You think most people like their favorite game for personal reasons? No. They were when they played it, the position they were in when they played it, or just the experience. I don't know why I phrased it this way, but I that is obviously a thing, and it's something I think about a lot. Like, your favorite game... It's most likely your favorite game because of where you were when you played it. You know what I mean? The reason why I and so many people love Ocarina is because we were kids when we played it. Because there was nothing like it before that. And that game just came at the right time for me. And even taking, as I said, the personal stuff out of it for its time, that game just was absolutely incredible. Again, this video was because I wanted oh, my done? own definitive- Oh, how is there two minutes left? The video is done, click away. Why get to the end card at this point? Leave a like for Zeldies. Oh, the old dancing me. I forgot about this. Wow. Uh, it was, I wasn't as bad as I remember. It was kind of like slow paced and I rambled a lot and I said some weird things. But for the most part, it was actually a pretty chill video. I didn't, I didn't mind it. But I really wanted to be a part of this. Zelda month. I finally kind of did something for it. Make sure to check out Peanut Butter Gamers. I've always really appreciated that he takes an entire month for Zelda. That can't be easy as a content creator. What's your top five? Let me know down below. I'm not gonna ramble on like this guy did. I'm just gonna 